Hey everybody. I know I promised you years ago that I would always share with you the good and the bad. There's no hiding the fact that the bed in front of our grape arbor has gotten well overgrown. That's just a product of trying to keep up with things while also taking summer vacations and doing other projects and things like that. But that's not went, what has went wrong. Let me show you this from a whole other angle. I'm going to tilt myself out of view and you tell me if you can see what's wrong with this. The arch has bowed itself inwards. It's going the wrong way. I know that's kind of challenging to see. I'm going to overlay some other photos we've taken. Um, but now the question is what happened and what can we do to fix it? Uh, I think a couple things uh, have happened here. First off, I think it's important to note that no damage has been done. Uh, we are still entirely attached to the house and we are still attached to our T-posts down here. And all of the individual cattle panels are still attached to each other. The only problem is, is that we've lost our arc outward and it is now bowed inward. So uh, you can see a whole lot better than I've ever been able to show you before uh, that there are a lot of grapes on here right now. But I think where I probably went very wrong was not to trim back the vines. Uh, earlier this spring, rather than uh, trim it back to the very basics and let it put off only a very limited amount of new growth, we instead left it alone. And the only trimming that we've been doing is right at the very top to keep it off of the house. And so there is a lot more growth on here than there's ever been before. Also, um, we've been having some pretty heavy thunderstorms. And I think perhaps because of the amount of vegetation up here, uh, we got wet. And, and all that water pushed it down. That's just really coming up because th that's when it bowed in. That, that was during the middle of a really heavy thunderstorm. Um, one of those kind that registered about, you know, three to four inches an hour type of rain. And it, and it just popped down. I wasn't home at the time. My wife said it sounded like a bird whacked into the window. And she came outside and saw this. Well, she saw it through the window, saw that all of a sudden all the vines were on the windows. So that's, that's what we're dealing with. And now how are we gonna fix it? Well, for right now, you can see I've got the extension ladder holding it up so I can even walk through here. If that ladder weren't there, uh, these would be laying down against the windows and I'd have to crouch to get through. Uh, so how do we fix it? Well, now that it's up like this, I'm gonna come in with some uh, two by fours, two by sixes, whatever I can. Uh, with Jennifer and Brandon, we're going to see if we can't get it to pop back the other way. And then we're going to start trimming. That's going to be the first thing to do is to trim it and see if we can't just get the weight off that way and, and limit how much we're putting up here. Uh, going into the future, uh, if that doesn't work, then we might have to uh, think about some other things like maybe bending some rebar as legs, uh, kind of like joists going down. Uh, this entire structure, uh, but I'd like to see us not have to add more to this project. So uh, eliminating the problem in the first place, if you want to build one of these, I think part of that issue was just how far out we went from how um, how far up we went. So we, we made too big of an arch. I think if uh, the base of the T-post down here is about seven feet away from the house. I think if it had maybe only been like four or five feet away of the house, we would have had a much stronger arch up at the top. Uh, here, we're working with a very gradual arch, which makes it a lot easier for that arch to bend and pop itself in. So uh, if I were to do it again, that's maybe one change I would have made. I might have done away with this internal herb bed uh, that's about three feet deep. I, I maybe would have done away with that. And right where you can see the uh, white fence that's keeping the cat out of the herbs, 
Uh, I probably would have just put the T-post there and made a taller, more sharp arch and, and had a little more structural stability up there. So anyway, it doesn't always go as planned and that's everything I can tell you about it. Let me know. Let me know if you think there's another thing that we could do to support this because what I don't want to do, what I totally want to avoid is cutting the vines. I mean, you're talking about four-year-old grape vines down here. I don't want to start over. You can see they're producing. I don't want to lose that production and just cut the vine. So let me know what you'd do uh, past or beyond what I've already mentioned here. Thanks to all of our patrons who make this project and all of the other projects on our homestead even possible. And thanks to all of you for taking the time to watch and for subscribing and sharing the videos. We recently passed 27,000 subscribers, so that's pretty awesome. Thank you all so much for that support. We'll see you next time. Bye.